Yeah, yeah well, so it's your, your seat. Story. This is my your seat. seat. Yeah. Your seat. Yeah. And you're right. about to be spoken. Have a session. Looks like it. Um, so, is it okay if we record this now for teaching purposes? It might be useful for you or some other people to look at in the future to see how this process might might look, might be useful for them. That'd be fine. Yeah, thank you. And um, oh, just to be clear, I'm wanting to demonstrate uh, in this situation how stories might be included in a in a hypnotic session. And uh, so primarily I'm wanting to demonstrate that. I will, of course, do what I can to make it useful to you, but primarily I'm wanting to demonstrate the process. So I hope that's agreeable. That's fine. Okay. So, could you tell us what you've been up to that's been enjoyable and pleasing and uh, fun and satisfying? Um, I've been... Well, lately, I've been... Well, a few things I've been doing lately, but something that just comes to mind is I've been um, catching up with an old friend. Oh. And we... Uh, our old friends from way back in school days. Okay. Yeah, and um, and I caught up with, with him uh, a while ago and seen him for about 30 or 40 years okay, or something like that. Me. 40 years probably. And yeah. what's that about? What was it like to, to reconnect with this? Oh, it, was just, it was just wonderful. We just spoke for a few hours and it seemed like a couple of minutes. Okay. And yeah, so I caught up with him and just mm -hmm. rang him out of the blue and looked, you know, um, let's catch up. Okay. Yeah, and we used to play guitar together, so we've had a couple of sessions, our little jam together, uh, and uh, yeah, he taught me how to play guitar. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I was still a teenager, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. So now we've got catching up, reconnecting, and learning to play the guitar. So there's an early learning just kind of waiting to happen. You know, when you first learn the guitar, whatever problem, difficulty, Neil's going to talk about. I'm going to relate it to the guitar. Yeah. If he says, um, you know, I don't feel confident, or when you first learned the guitar, you didn't feel confident, but as you do the day, you start to feel confident. So with a guitar, it's something that's been learned. So it's going to lend itself to learning. If you can learn the guitar, you can learn to stand up in public, you can learn to do anything. That's the implication. It's not true, but it's an implication. Yeah? What do you mean it's not true, but it's an implication? Well, I mean, to say, uh, because you learn to, to play the guitar, you can learn to speak Chinese, is crazy. It's not true. But if we, if someone, can learn to play the guitar and not be able to learn to, to speak Chinese. So I'm not wanting to be accurate, I'm wanting to imply, I'm wanting to evoke something. Evoke the possibility. Exactly that. I, there's no, I, I can't lose weight, stop drinking, learn to drive a car, something I've tried and it doesn't work. That's what the problem is. So we're wanting to say, oh, okay. There was a time where you couldn't learn to play the guitar. You couldn't play the guitar. And when you first started it, you maybe thought, oh, I'll never be able to. You knew you couldn't. And da 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 Do you get the sort of drift of what I'm saying? So, that's been good to reconnect. And uh, he taught you to play the guitar way back then. And you've actually had a couple of jam sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. All right. So we could talk about that some more, but maybe that's enough for the moment. Um, what is there something that's uh, present for you at the moment that you'd like to be different? Some problem you'd like to um, make some change to? Oh well, um, I've got this little. It's, it's actually quite a, a nagging little pain. Oh yeah, in my neck. Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, it hurts when I do certain things. So okay. if I cough or if I jump up and let, it's, it's obviously some some little problem with my joints or something like that. But Aye. but but um, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd love to be able to manage it or okay. uh, even overcome it, uh, make it go away by 
disappearing it into the background or something like that. Okay. It tends to sort of be there when I do something vigorous, but if if I'm in the right mood or done the right loosening up or mm -hmm. uh, things are right, sometimes it's hardly there at all. So I'd like to be able to do something about that. Okay. And uh, is this just recent? Or, uh, uh, been there for a long time? No, it happened a couple of years ago and it's been niggling me on and off ever since. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay, and it's just on the right side of your neck? It is. Okay. It is. Okay. All right. So, um, to fit in with what we've been exploring, if we ask what's missing, it's somehow to be able to manage it so that it was less troublesome yeah. or not there at all? A or? Any of those things would be good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> any improvement would be great for you. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the, the, what you're looking for is a way of... Uh, um, sometimes you, you do some things so that it's not as troublesome. Yeah. Uh, so you're already managing it to some degree. Yeah. Might be nice if that happened more automatically or yeah. if you didn't have to do that or... Yeah. Is that... Yeah, yeah. If if um, it was like that, all if if the if if the things that I did, whatever they were, and I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think I know, but I'm not sure. Mm. Um, were less intrusive, or no, that I didn't have to think about doing them all the time, or they just were automatic, or they even didn't need to be done. Yeah. Um, if, if the problem would go away, it would be nice. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. All right. Well, now, um, uh, if you, do you have any particular way that you like to go into hypnosis? Is there some way? Favourite way? Oh, well, that, uh, I'm not a, not a big expert at going into hypnosis. Oh, really? Um, no. Um, not, not in a formal way? No. Um, well, yeah. if you were to just allow what's happening now to continue, would that be okay? Yeah. Something... Yeah, sorry. I, I think I'd probably like to just close my eyes and relax and and just drift into a into a nice relaxed state. Okay. So that's how I'd like to do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And uh, as you are even talking about that, I can see there's already some stillness creeping into your body. And the way you're nodding your head has that slight difference to how you might nod it normally. That's it. And now you close your eyes. You can let your body relax to whatever degree that it is. So that as you settle into that chair, <clears throat> you can settle into this experience. And there may be some particular part of your body that is especially comfortable might be your left foot or your right knee or your left elbow. I don't know. It really doesn't matter for me. And you might be able to concentrate, focus on that particular part of your body that's so comfortable, so relaxed, so... Uh, the way you want it to be, that maybe uh, be so comfortable you might even have trouble feeling it. It's so comfortable, but you could notice it. And then, as you focus on that in whatever way you are, or it may be something totally different. I don't know. It might be the experience of playing guitar with your friend. Whatever it is, that you can allow yourself to. Uh, just drift into that experience of absorption without needing to do anything. Without needing to make any effort. And just somehow allow that natural absorption to be something that just happens.
and I had a client who wanted to stop smoking. And she told me she smoked with her right hand and she was smoking 20 cigarettes a day. She wanted some hypnosis to help her with that. And so, in that hypnotic experience, she found that she could sit very comfortably. And she didn't need to move her right hand or right arm, didn't need to move that arm at all. It could be very comfortable. And she learned that feeling of comfort in the right arm. and really enjoyed it. She came back to see me again a week or so later saying that feeling of comfort in her right arm has persisted and she could not smoke with her right arm. She had managed two or three cigarettes a day but she could only smoke them with her left hand. Since she'd found hypnosis helpful, it was easy for her to let herself drift into that hypnotic experience again. And I told her about my son. The first year he went to school, he fell over and broke his right elbow. Now he'd learned to write his name, he's right-handed, his writing's very adequate, he'd learned to write his name with his right hand, he broke his right elbow. And I told her that within a week he was able to write with his left hand because the learning to write was a function of him. It had expressed itself through his right hand. So it was easy for him to transfer that learning from his right hand to his left hand. And I said to her, you came after last time, you couldn't smoke with your right arm, your right hand. And your left hand can learn from your right hand. So that's going to be okay. Now if you get a very strong feeling to smoke, using your feet, holding a cigarette between your toes, then come back and we can start to work on your legs. But she didn't need to come back after that. Now when you first learn to play the guitar, you may have held your body, your hands, your arms, even your toes, maybe your forehead, in a very tense manner so that you didn't let the guitar slip out of your hands so that you could hold that uh, guitar and place your fingers where they needed to go on the frets. And with your right hand, how did you know how to have the right amount of tension? Mm fingers, your thumb, as you're plucking those strings, making chords and notes. And learning where to put your fingers to make those notes in different strings. 
was very difficult. And there must have been a lot of tension, whether you realised it or not, in your wrist, in your shoulder, in your elbow, your neck, your forehead, even your knees. But as you learnt that, whatever you learn, you're able to settle into that and only have the right amount of tension in your fingers and the rest of your body didn't need to participate at all to be very comfortable. So the learning could then find its way into your hands, your fingers. You see someone learning to write their name they're trying to get that pencil to go where they want it and they move their tongue around in their mouth trying to make the pencil go the right way. The whole body is involved. And you can play the guitar now and really enjoy that. You can play with a friend, have a jam session and play together. You don't have to be tense about the other you can play with. And so, as I'm talking, there may be some way that just as you can reconnect with that friend that you hadn't seen for decades and have such a good time that you talk for hours and it just seemed like a few minutes. There may be some way that you can reconnect with your neck the way that it was a number of years ago and find how easy it can be for you to reconnect with that. A few years ago your neck was just fine. And you lost contact with your neck in that way over the last couple of years. But all those years before that, your neck was just doing what it was doing and you can reconnect with that, like you can reconnect with that friend. And I don't know that you said this, but it was an implied that even though you hadn't seen him for a long time, it was as if no time had passed. And so when you reconnect with your neck the way it used to be, it can be as if no time has passed. And you can learn to jam with your friend, play the guitar with him, and you can jam with your neck, have a good time with your neck. And when you're jamming, you don't need to think about anything, don't need to work at it or try at it. You can just enjoy the experience and even forget that you have a feet or knees, or a neck, you're just into the music, into the jamming. Now if you were to remember what it was like jamming with your friend just recently, could you let yourself get into that experience and remember the feeling of that, the sound of that, the experience of that? What's that like to be jamming with your friend? What could you say about that? Could you say something? Yeah, a lot of fun. It was fun? Yeah. Hmm. And, and what are you playing? Is there something in particular that you're playing? Yeah, well, I play a lot of things. A lot of things, yeah. yeah. And you don't need to remember all the things that you played, but it was fun. And when you're jamming with your friend, 
how how aware are you of your feet, of your knees, of your shoulders, and so on? What, is your, what are you thinking? What's your attention on when you're jamming? I can't notice anything else. Just, um, just. Um, Just the uh, instruments and yeah, and the sounds. The instruments and the sound. That's it. And everything else is doing what it needs to do. As you move from one string or one chord to another, and you move your right hand, all sorts of muscular adjustments are made in your shoulders, in the small of your back. You might even move your toes slightly, but you don't need to think about that because all of those parts of your body have a way of settling into the right place. And you don't need to think, am I holding the guitar the right way? It just sits there, if you know what I mean, if I can express it that way. Can you make sense of that, that the guitar is just there? Yeah. yeah. And you're doing things with your left hand, doing things with your right hand. And you don't even need to really think about that. It's as if they know what to do. And in the same way, you have a capacity to let your neck do exactly what it knows what to do. I don't know if that's going to happen now, whether it's already begun, whether it's a direct result of this conversation, or whether something will happen tonight or tomorrow, next time you play guitar. Maybe something that happens when you're doing Taekwondo, that something settles in a way that you don't even need to notice. Because so many things and you have so many capacities, more than you can know. And it can be so interesting to wonder But you did make those connections with your friend. And you did enjoy and have fun with the jamming. So you can make connections with how your neck used to be and have some fun. And just let everything settle into a natural, easy, balance, so as you don't need to think about it, you don't need to notice it, you don't even really need to manage it, because you're not managing your guitar. Now, Obviously, I have no way of knowing just how you can make use of this. I can talk about different things, but what I'm talking about comes from me. And it's the way you can make your own interpretation the way you can jam with your experience and have fun with it is going to be way more important. And as this experience continues, it might be very interesting for you to not 
even need to notice. How you don't need to notice. A whole lot of sensations that you're not noticing. Because if you don't notice them, and you don't notice that you're not noticing them, well, why would you need to notice that? It can just happen, just like breathing. In and out can happen. You don't need to notice it but it's there. Now, I'd like to just let some time go by to allow you some time to just sit with that. To take whatever time you need to let that settle. And Peter's doing some preparation for painting. He's got some kind of putty, puts it on, some filler, and it has to set. Takes a little while to get set. So I will Might be nice if you could just let that drift in so that you can let that learning, those connections, let that settle. And when it has settled, you'll know. And then you can let your eyes open. You'll only be able to do that when you know. You learnt you need, made the connections can be useful. So that you can have some fun. That's it. And I'm curious, Neil, about what's happening for you at the moment. Oh, I'm feeling very relaxed. Very relaxed? Okay. Mm. Is that all right? It's got a smile on your face. Looks yeah, like it's all right. It feels good. Yeah. Feels good? Okay. Yeah. And how are your feet feeling? Or oh. hadn't you noticed them? I suppose they're there. You suppose they're there. And it doesn't matter. They know what to do. How are your elbows? Still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you don't have to manage any of that. They know what to do, do they not? Yeah. Your shoulders? Yeah, I can feel my shoulders. Okay, how's your neck feeling? Yeah, it's good. Hmm? Yeah, it's good. I can feels good? Yeah, it feels alright. Yeah. yeah, good. Nice to remember how to have a neck that feels alright. Can you have some fun with that? Maybe even be surprised as to how easy that can be. Peter's telling me that one of his sons is learning guitar beautifully. He's not learning uh, from uh, staves, you know, from a, he's learning from those grids. But he's learning it that way and he's learning it well. We've got to, we've all got our own way of learning. Hey? So, okay. Oh, there we go. Mm. Hey. Mm. And um, uh, I notice when someone has been doing some uh, good hypnotic work, there's often some moisture, there's often yeah. some tearing. It's not yeah. crying, it's just tearing. It often yeah. seems to be mm. something that happens. I don't, I don't know, know what that is. Something emotional, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. if it wasn't emotional, do you know what the emotion would be? No, I notice that if I if I watch a movie that I really like. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know why, there's nothing sad happening. I no, guess, uh, something touches you maybe? Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, mm. Something, yeah, something touching happens. Yeah. I, I've noticed that that's uh, uh, an indication of some learning. If there's something happening here that that connects with you, like some learning that's useful, it's often that response. Mm. Anyhow, is that a place we might stop? Is that a... Thanks for being willing to play. Thank you. It'll be interesting to hear what you do with that. Okay. Mm. okay.